creating a tool path using a 2D wireframe can be done in two methods. The first one is direct curve selection method and the second one is feature set method. So we will see the both method here. So for that, the first method is uh, a curve selection method. For that, I'm selecting a 2D curve area clearance. In this page, uh, first I'm calculating my block. So I'm selecting the outermost curve. Just say calculate. Uh, as there is no uh, Z height in this particular model, I'm entering this uh, Z minus as 30 and selecting my tool as 10 flat here. When come to the curve area clearance page, uh, by selecting this uh, icon, you can able to pick all your geometry of the particular profiles. Here I'm selecting both the pocket and including a boss profile inside. So accept this page. So you can see here uh, the direction of machining. So I want to machine inside the profile. So I'm just say reverse the particular uh, option here. And entering my uh, depth, maximum depth of the pocket as uh, 9.9, .9, keeping 0.1 as stock. And uh, the next one is um, style of the toolpath is offset. And you are uh, step over as 7 mm for a 10 mm diameter. In cut distance page, select uh, limits option and entering depth of cut as 0.5. If you wish to add a draft angle of a particular wall, you can select this option here. Come down to uh, your rapid moves height area page and enter your uh, rapid height and uh, plunge height here. In, when it comes to the move and clearance page, input two and one for lifting between uh, toolpath uh, movements. And in your lead in page, I'm selecting here as ramp option and enter your uh, ramping angle and uh, one of them as height. Finally, you input your feed and speed data and calculate the toolpath. This is the first method using a curve selection. So the second one is using a feature set. So for that, I'm selecting my um, feature group first. And uh, inside that, uh, you go to the feature editor page. Here I'm selecting first uh, is uh, pocket. So I'm selecting the free form pocket. So selecting all these uh, four profile. So select all the four profile here and entering the bottom depth as um, minus 10 and just say apply and uh, in the same feature group create this particular boss which is uh, inside the pocket so for that i'm selecting a freeform boss so my uh, you just see from the sideways it is uh, projecting uh, outside the model so my curve position is saying as top so it will automatically go inside the pocket and say apply accept for this go and select the feature area clearance page go to the features page and select all the machinable feature and cut direction if you wish to add thickness you can add the here and you step over and you are finally your depth of cut similarly you can enter rapid heights and feed speed data and say calculate So if you see uh, this, the both methods can be done creating a roughing toolpath using a curve selection method and a feature set method.